Does the Vatican worship Lucifer? Today, the truth about a video that went viral in this edition of It's Time to Fact Check. But first, let's quote the words of the Jedi Master of all Jedi Masters, the savior of this world, the only man in history by which we can verify the claims to his divinity. But that's for a different video. So the Lord Jesus Christ in Luke 22, 31 to 32 says, Simon, Simon, behold, Satan has demanded to sift you men like wheat, but I have prayed for you that your faith will not fail. And you, when you have turned back, strengthen your brothers. Since then, the father of lies, the murderer, the accuser, the adversary, and the opposer do everything possible to discredit the apostle's successors. Perhaps you've seen a video titled Pope Francis Sings to Lucifer or full-blown Lucifer worship at the Vatican. In the video, uploaded to all social media platforms, there's a mass made official by Pope Francis at the Vatican in which a person sings in Latin. In the lyrics, the word Lucifer is heard. The song ends with a synchronized Amen. Let's have a look at the video. In quaternis celestia, humanis divina iunguntur. Oramus ergo te domine, ut cereus iste in honorem tui nominis consecratus, ad noctis uius caliginem destruendam, in deficiens perseveret, et in odorem suavitatis acceptus, supernis luminaribus misceatur, flamas eius, lucifer matutinus inveniat, Ile in quan Lucifer quinescito casum, Christus filius tuus, Christus filius tuus, Christus filius tuus, Christus filius tuus. The moderately informed Christians will cringe and laugh at the gross decontextualization and inadequate Latin language translation of this verse. Honestly. But there's an explanation for those worried about sharing this video without understanding what's really happening. In this video, we see the Easter night on the Easter Vigil's solemnity, and the song is the popular Exulted in Latin or Pregón Pascual in Spanish, or simply the Easter Proclamation in English. This is an ancient song dating back to the 4th century. It's a very long song in the church, made up of 23 verses, yet the video only shows the last verse that says, Flamas ius lucifer matutinos inveniat, ili quan lucifer kinescio casum, Christos filios tus, qui regressus ab inferis humano generis serenus silucit. Et tecum vivit et regnat in seucula seculorum. It's quite impressive the imagination of some people who with evil intentions masquerade this verse as a song to the devil with invented translations that has nothing to do with what the text is saying. This is a correct translation of the song. First, let's look at the Spanish translation. Que el lucero matutino lo encuentre ardiendo. O lucero que no conoce ocaso y es Cristo, tu hijo resucitado, que volviendo del abismo, Brilla sereno para el linaje humano y vive y reina por los siglos de los siglos. 
Now let's take a look at the English translation. May the morning star find a burning, O star that knows no sunset, and is Christ, your risen sun, that returning from the abyss, shines serenely for the human race, and he lives and reigns forever and ever. The fact is, Lucifer is a Latin word for star or light bearer, or lucero in Spanish. Although it's true that the God of the Bible describes the fallen angel as a morning star and son of the dawn, as found in Isaiah 14, 12, the informed Christians will know that Lucifer became Satan after being thrown out from the Garden of Eden, as found in Ezekiel 28, 12 to 17, and even more explicitly in Zechariah 3, 2. Satan means the accuser, the adversary, and the opposer. Therefore, the word Lucifer within the song context isn't a veneration to Satan. Instead, it's a song about Christ's passion, death, resurrection, and ascension to the heavens. That's all. Simple. Finito. So let's recap. We provided three different translations of the song, Latin, Spanish, and English, to fact check us. We've also offered biblical verses to establish that Lucifer was the fallen angel's name before becoming Satan. We found that the Easter proclamation was an ancient hymn that celebrates Christ's passion, death, resurrection, and ascension to the heavens. But as always, you decide. If they share this anti-Vatican video, we recommend that you respond with this video so that people will not get confused. And if you enjoy this content, give us a like and hit the subscription and notification button to receive our latest videos.